Good morning. I want to say something, and maybe it's petty to respond. But it's not for me, it's for those who are too wrapped up in the world. We have to love who loves us and live in the universe and the bubble that we create for ourselves. Really live in ourself. If we rest in self-love and self-perfection, we have no interest in even any of what I'm going to discuss. But as far as the media and the world, I have a dear friend who loves me, and I know they love me. And every time they hear something that's not attractive about me, they call me. And they tell me, I say, I didn't know about that. And they'll say, oh, but it's on social media. And I generally don't miss all of social media, but I didn't see it. Uh, but they brought it to my attention. They say, they say uh, a lot of silly shit about you, and I want you to correct it. You know me, if you're watching me. And I guess you should, if you are on social media, surround yourself with, or concern yourself with the ones who love you and who are influenced by your words and your actions. Someone who's watching me will know that I just posted my last year's Thanksgiving and that I'm having another Friendsgiving this year where we host a lot of community. They watch my social media, they know that, Pagi! Come wave, come here, come, come. They know that my whole staff went to the movies yesterday. We locked out the movie and a hundred people went, say hello. Hi. I like that's a different uniform. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, you're going away, right? Come here. This is Gusti Ayu, right? There are a hundred people here. <laughs> Gusti Ayu yeah. was trained as they were all trained to in hospitality. But instead of working for the hotel over there, Gusti Ayu is running off to a boat, right? Yeah. And you're going to travel the world. Yeah. So she's going to use her hospitality education to travel the world. And I'm very happy for you. You better come back and work with us. Yeah, of course. But the whole village we trained. Thank you, sir. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> you like the movie last night? Yeah, of course. I like it. They, like, they saw Black Panther last night. So... People who know me are watching this, if they're paying that much attention, they, they realize that our whole staff from Samadhi Circle, which is my house, and from the Jidas Hotel and the Bali Eden all went to the movies. Not all, but a hundred people went to the movies. And this is my Balinese family. And those are the people I concern myself with. My day, who you see sometimes on the live, is my daughter. I, I raised her for the last five years and she's now 24. And she's amazing. And she's like my daughter. And um, all of the rest have been around for years and some for less. But I have a Balinese family. They know that. And they know that I have philanthropic and social and political concerns in America that I still try to support. And they also know that I come back all the fucking time. They know I have an office in L.A., Gush Cloud. I'm there all the time, half the year. For tax purposes, I got to go back to American work. Most of it can be done by Zoom, but I still go back. I flew back to America just for one meeting after coming back from spending four months in America recently. One Chinese guy wanted to see me to close the deal, and he saw me. I flew all the way back. This fucker never closed the deal. All right. So you know I'm back and forth. So the person called me and said to me, they think you're hiding. Who the fuck cares what they think? This is what we have to separate ourselves from the idea of they think. If you are concerned at all, be concerned with your loved ones and their nervous systems and what suffering they're going through. And this is about them. This is about those who feel, good morning, come wave, come say hello. Hey, Katut, hello. Um, say hello. Hello. You like hello. this uniform? Huh? You like this uniform as good? Yes, you do. Does it feel good? Yes, feel good. Feel okay. comfy. All right. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yeah, they all... So, what matters is the ones you love. The rest of the motherfuckers don't matter. And in fact, the ones you love, if you put up proper boundaries and give them love, then they will respond properly. And there's no karmic result or suffering or disconnect on your part because you do love things. You promote good things. 
So then you don't have to worry so much about the world. So you only have a small circle to worry about, those who you love and that love you. But the rest don't matter. They got nothing to do with you. And they can think what the fuck they want to think. Of course I come back all the time. No, I've never spoken to anybody from the law enforcement about any fucking thing. No, I've, they, do they know I took nine separate lie detector tests? Will they read or print that by the top people in the country? They don't print that, and I don't give a fuck. And so for those who worry about the outsiders, I'm asking you to let go of it. They don't count. They don't even live. If you didn't know about them through the fake-ass media, then you wouldn't even... For those who care about media, right? who live in the media world. And that itself is a bubble, but you know that's another trap. But all those who worry about the people outside of their circle, try not to. And hating them, hate hurts the hater. Fucks with the nervous system and causes cancer. So today, only worry about the people you love. And don't even worry about them. Worry about returning, uh, returning to the self and being God's servant. Worry about doing good, and good karmic result will come, and you don't have to see it immediately either. Just do good. Do good and be good. Sounds boring, right? Your mother told you, do good and be good. The Bible, the Quran, the Torah, the Yoga Sutras, the Bhagavad Gita, just try to be a good force on earth, and forget the rest. Reverend Run said, do the, <laughs> very simplistic, do your best, forget the rest. You cannot change what people think, and you cannot control their narrative. And if you spend any energy on it, it will only cause you suffering. It will further taint the narrative they create. Anyway, practice love, be good. Practice loving everybody, even those suffering, and those who are delusional and attack you, and those who are truthful and attack you. If they're on the outskirts, of your life, don't suck them in. Don't carry their negative emotions or energy. Just do good and be good. And for those who love me and who care about the rest of the world, don't worry for me, because I don't give a fuck about them motherfuckers. <laughs> and neither should you. Namaste, yogis. <laughs>